Spinal tumors uh, encompass a wide variety of different problems that people can have. You can have tumors of the spinal cord itself. The vertebral bodies can also have lesions in them. A lot of times these can be cancerous or malignant. Sometimes they can be benign. So most spine tumors are actually diagnosed incidentally. A lot of times people will have back pain. Very rarely patients will have neurologic deficits. And once the diagnosis is made, it's interesting, but a lot of times the patients are actually not treated and they're subsequently referred to us by other specialists. And we like to see the patients, you know, as soon as the diagnosis is made. But we spend quite a bit of time going over the x-rays, the MRIs, the various other imaging modalities. And for us, we try to use this technology as much as we can because it does involve surgery. And anytime we get a patient who has a spinal tumor, we do an extensive workup in trying to figure out, you know, what is the problem and make sure that the family doctor and the primary care team is fully informed of what's involved in all the tests that we've done.